Okay, this is a new thermostat, generation four, and let's make sure that we align everything correctly. So it should just snap on just like that and voila yay so as promised in the title of the video i will go ahead and show you the initial setup for the nest thermostat generation 4. all right youtube it actually asked me to get my uh, google home app so let me try and show you how we're gonna do that uh two, two, two. let's see Maybe we're gonna go ahead and do devices here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with one hand. Devices, add, there you are. Choose a device, Google Nest or partner. Boom. It just asked me to verify my address, which I did do. And now it says we're looking for devices. Man, this, uh, thing is huge look at the iphone and look at this like the thermostat is just ooh la la so we're gonna do the thermostat we're gonna do the nest thermostat fourth generation and scan the code to set up the device choose your camera where is the code oh i see so the QR code is on the back of the device. So let me unsnap this device and get the code. If I scan the code, if I hit next, this is what comes up. Let's set up your thermostat. Do you want to agree? Yes, I do. Install and wire thermostat, connect to Wi-Fi, set up, to do do. Already installed, it's on the wall, so uh, it should be connecting hopefully with no problem um, Again, there are a ton of videos for you guys to see online on how to Actually set up a new uh, thermostat. So Google uh, does a really good job at showing you step-by-step -step instructions uh, So we are gonna do English. We are in the United States. We're gonna do Fahrenheit Okay, I hope it's not gonna be a lengthy process so review your detected wires one two three four one two three four i'll go ahead and confirm because that is correct i took a picture before and let's see what is your heat fuel source so the heat is actually natural gas okay what is your uh, uh heat um, delivery type so forced air correct how do you want your fan to be controlled by thermostat? What, which mode should your thermostat use today? Cooling, because we are in California and there we are. It actually came on you guys. It, it is 79 inside the house. So, and we are gonna cool it to 75. So, and it says your thermostat can now control heating and cooling. Yay, we did it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to connect um, the thermostat to the Wi-Fi. And that should be it. I love the gorgeous new device. It's the screen is just, you know, that black uh, obsidian, the polished volcanic glass is just stunning you guys this is just amazing okay let me set up my home uh, network i'll be right so back. i just entered my password and it says we're connecting your nest uh, thermostat fourth gen to your wi-fi and um i can tell already that the display is different um it's, it's not finishing up so it's a, it's not only a lot bigger it shows a lot more information so First, it's the time, and then what's the temperature outside, which is 91, what's the indoor, 79, and the cooling is set to 75. Uh, so the 42% you see is the percentage of the humidity. So we are in um, Sacramento, and it's not as humid, so it's desert. And getting your device ready, it says. I am super excited to see these final steps, and hopefully, Oh yeah, let's see. So where is your device located? We have a two-story house, so it's downstairs. Uh, bathroom, den, dining room, family room, front door. 
Okay, so boom. It asked me again to confirm my um, home address. So, and see how your thermostat can help you save. Energy savings are easy with a Nest review. Less effort and more effort, cheaper and cleaner energy. Okay. I say yes to everything because I want my bills to go lower. And automate your home with home and away routines. Absolutely yes. Home and home away routines can automatically turn on echo temps when you're away. Would you like to do that? Yes. So whenever we're not home, so it will save the energy. You can start home and away routines with presence sensing. Yes, let's set it up. And use your phone location for presence sensing. Absolutely. And choose which devices will help with presence sensing. Uh, boom. Again, it confirms my um, home address for the third time. It's asking me to confirm my home location on the map, actually, which I'm not showing to you, obviously, right? So it's now thinking. So literally the map appeared and home away routines are all set. Get to know your thermostat features. A smart schedule learns what you like um, throughout the day, okay? Leaves let you know when you are helping the environment, all right? System health monitor helps catch potential HVAC issues, great. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's just great. Uh, so uh, what do you want to set up next? Review or edit your uh, start schedule, choose a far side display, or select your um, eco temps. Let's do all of them. Review or edit your schedules. So there we are. Uh, comfort 75 75 65 okay I'm just gonna uh, cruise through that because I know you guys I don't want to make it a long video choose a far side display temperatures if you want weather analog or digital clock I want weather oh it just changed nice wow okay select your echo temps uh, 5682, okay. Just to keep the cool comfy, use adaptive echo and stay in the know. If you wanna be notified. Rotate the dial to change the temperature. Oh, look at that, you guys. So if I change that to 76, 75, 74, let's see, 75 it is, and it tells me one hour and five minutes. Did you see that? Okay, we've got that. Press the display to see the menu. Okay, so here we are. Oh, it feels so nice to just, you know, it's literally just boom, boom, boom. It's very easy to touch. It feels very natural. Okay. Oh, we got that and then you're all set okay congratulations and yes we do have a sensor that i need to set up so i'll go ahead and do that now so alrighty. so this is a little sensor that a thermostat came with and it, it's asking me to scan the qr code so i'll do that so it is asking me about additional legal terms so i'll go ahead and agree this thing is so small. Let's set up your um, Nest thermostat sensor. So I'm gonna hit next. Pull out the battery string. Okay, boom, this is it. Wow, it's really hard to do it with one hand. Let me tell ya. Okay, so that's done. Next, take the sensor to a room you would like to keep a comfortable temperature. Okay, thermostat is gonna be uh, downstairs and let's just go upstairs and test it okay so I'm in my office upstairs right now and we're gonna go ahead and test it says connecting okay connected very good thanks Google everything is working mount your sensor on the wall or place it on a flat surface it is on a flat surface surface it's gonna live in my office room Getting your device ready. 
where is the device? So it's gonna be two 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 garage hallway kitchen living room office. There it is. And get to know your temperature sensor. Your sensor helps a room reach the right temp. You can use one or multiple. Well, it came with one, so I only have one. Didn't purchase any additional. I might later, we'll see. And you can schedule sensors at different times. Got that. And your temperature, temperature sensor is all set. Boom. So we are officially done. So here's the thermostat, the fourth generation. It is cooling. Okay, I'm back downstairs, so let me fix this to 75. Oh, is it 75? Oh, I see. It was showing me the weather as opposed to the actual temperature, so I'm used to seeing the temp. Hmm, this is interesting. So the new Google Learning Thermostat Gen 4 is downloading a software upgrade, so my cooling is still working so just something to keep in mind i guess there is a new version already even though it's the first day of its release wow thank you guys for watching boris Karaman. um you know please leave any comments or questions if you have about the new thermostat it's cooling my house really nicely i love the view i love the touch and i'll see you next one thanks blessings bye